Direct Mail, Monday, March 8th, 2021. Steve Cypress here, short and sweet today, or should I say big and sweet today. Uh, very simply, uh, does size matter? Now, people that follow me know that I spent three and a half years employed by a Yellow Pages publisher, consulting to their advertisers, improving their ads. And in that case, bigger meant it cost a lot more. A full page ad in the yellow page can cost 10 times as much as a little ad. So, of course, the big ad, depending on the, the heading, if you have not a lot of uh, competition in the heading, there aren't many ads there, you don't have to be full size. But if you're going to be an attorney and a plumber and all that kind of stuff, and there's multiple full page ads, well, of course, if you place a tiny ad, you're not going to get a lot of attention, except sometimes from price shoppers and tire kickers and people that want the cheapest option. So you'll look for which business is likely not doing well and has no money and isn't too smart about things and places a small ad. Small ad. Uh, but when it comes to direct mail, uh, it's negligible, the larger cost. Certainly not 10 times as much. A couple examples hit my mailbox from last week, these humongous postcards. So sure, these cost more than a little postcard. They cost more than you know, these, this is some business mail I received and regular number 10 white envelopes, nothing special about them at all. I'm showing the back because I didn't cross out my home address for uh, privacy. But um, uh, uh, that doesn't get any attention. That just blends in. It's a blah. It doesn't get me excited to open it. But getting this stuff is like, wow, that's interesting. That's out of the ordinary. That's big and fun and colorful and you know, so I could show you a lot of elements on here, kind of redundant. If you watch my Direct Mail Monday videos, I, I give examples of all kinds of smart elements that both of these are using today. I just want to focus on the fact that your number one job of any kind of marketing at all, online, offline, in person, Facebook, Twitter, direct mail, phone call, in-person networking, meeting, whatever it is, your first job is to get someone's attention. So certainly obviously you can get somebody's attention to have a huge honking postcard in this case had to be folded in half to fit into the mailbox and at least it's going to get looked at as opposed to and looked at in a positive way of like wow that's interesting these guys are sharp this is some fun stuff like as opposed to even if i do look at an envelope like this that whatever run-of-the-mill boring they don't really care about getting my business so when it comes to direct mail getting people's attention not to mention of course having more space to tell your story to sell to convince the recipient of whatever it is you want them to do to call to go to a website i mean here's seven phone numbers and a website on that one so they want you to call they want you to go to a website very smart the website 31 day window sale corresponds to the fact that it's all about a 31-day sale on windows and doors. There's smart things going on. Like I said, I wasn't going to go into a lot of details, but this one is some event called What's Working Now. And the website is whatsworkingnowday.com. Must be a one-day event. So uh, you don't put out your main web page. You don't give out your main phone number. These are all tracking numbers, of course, so that they can track which numbers are getting which calls and which websites people are hitting because it's likely they're not just sending a postcard to promote this event or this big sale. They're sending emails, phone calls. They're placing ads online, offline, all kinds of different stuff. You always want to track what's going on. Again, another lesson I'm getting off the topic. The main lesson today is, yes, the bigger the better, if you use it right. If you leave a lot of blank space, I guess it got their attention, but big deal, you're not convincing them of anything. But look at all the copy, all the words uh, you can fit on the two sides of a postcard like this to convince people to take the action you want them to take. So yes, bigger is better. If that's a print ad in a magazine or a newspaper or a yellow pages ad, it'll cost you 10, 20 times as much go full page as a tiny ad, but when it comes to a postcard, I mean, instead of a buck, it costs you three bucks. Like, still it costs more, but the results, which hopefully are results-oriented, way outweighs the added cost. Prove me wrong if you don't think so. 
uh, and let me know that you were somehow able to mail a boring small postcard and outperform one where they invested a little bit more into it and got tremendously better results. As always, if you want help getting better results with your advertising, marketing, and sales efforts, go to helpfromsteve.com and we'll get on a Zoom call and I'll help you out. Can't spend all day, but I'll give you a few minutes on there. So that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday today, March 8th. I'll be back tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. Thanks for being with me today over and out. Bye-bye.